I know that you know that Dollar Tree carries mason jars year round in their glass aisle. And what is better is that they have a larger size and a smaller size that you can use for your crafts. This larger one we're gonna start with. I already removed the sticker from the bottom and we're gonna remove the lid because we're not gonna need that one. We're gonna wipe it really well to make sure that all dust and smudges are removed from it. And then we're gonna bring in this piece of leftover uh, craft paper from a book that I got several years ago. I'm gonna cut off a piece and then we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna burn the edges. Now, be careful when you do this. If you do this, of course, uh, uh, be in a very ventilated area and just be very, very careful. Um, anyways, I'm going to use my little lighter here and we're just going to burn off the edges and then really making sure that we turn it off or like fan it off as soon as we start seeing it burn because we just want to give it that burnt old look. And I'm going to do that on both edges so that they both have that look. And this is what we're going to place right in the middle of the mason jar and we're going to do a lot of layering for this one so if you love layering stay around because this is for you all right so once we had it where i want it we're going to bring it back inside and then we are just going to attach it to again wrap it around the middle of the mason jar we're just going to use hot glue but you can use any other glue you want it didn't really matter because we are going to be layering it as i mentioned it so everything else we're going to put around it it's going to hold it in place now this paper, again, you don't have to use this kind or this design, but you can use whatever you have on hand as well as wrapping paper if you have one. All right, we're gonna then move on to this glittery, meshy style Christmas ribbon from Dollar Tree. Again, wrap it around, hot glue it in place. And then we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna take one of these towels from Dollar Tree. You can find these in the automobile aisle at Dollar Tree. I love using these, especially for Christmas crafts because they have a very snowy, cozy look to it. I'm gonna cut off a piece that's about maybe an inch and a half to two inches wide. And then we're going to wrap it around and again, secure it with hot glue. And then we're going to take some red and white Baker's twine. I found this one actually at Dollar Tree. And we're just going to wrap it around several times in the middle. And this is just going to add that last layer and kind of bring everything together, all the colors and textures together. All right, so to the front, I do want to add a couple of greenery picks. These I get on Amazon. I do have them in my Amazon store if you want to check them out. They come a ton in a box great for crafts but you can also use the greenery that you can find at dollar tree of course and then we're going to add a couple of extra little things just to add more texture and nice beautiful christmas um just kind of texture to it anyways we're going to move on now we're going to add one of these faux candles these are battery operated i do have them on my amazon store as well they have two settings one is just like a lit and the other one is like a candle flickering it's really cool and of course they're faux so they're safe to place anywhere in your home and it has a remote control and I think it turned out absolutely stunning. I love layering, especially using the craft paper. I think it's just gorgeous with that burnt edges. But let me know what you think of this one. All right, so we're going to take a quick break from crafting because I want to take you to my kitchen and show you the amount of supplements that I have to take every single day just to keep up with my daily supplements. So these are the supplements that I have to take every single day. And let me show you what I'm replacing them with. Yes, a little tiny packet from Groons Daily. And let me show you, they come in this bigger packet and you just rip it open and you have all these smaller little packages already available for you to eat once a day. They are convenient, comprehensive formula packed into eight tiny little gummies a day. And it isn't just a multivitamin or a greens gummy or a probiotic. It's all those things and then some at a fraction of the price. There's eight gummies included in each packet because there's no way you can fit the amount of nutrients that they fit in one gummy. But I'm so glad because they actually taste really good and it's like eating a snack, a healthy snack. So there's a link down in the description box that you want to go check out when you're done watching. You can get 45% off your purchase, which I think is a great opportunity to give them a try. And I honestly think you're going to love them. This next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to take a couple of these lids from mason jars that are left over from other projects. And we're going to start wrapping them around using the white yarn. Just add a little dab of hot glue on one end and then just keep going around and around until both of them are nicely wrapped and tight, just like this. Then we're going to attach these together by just joining them with a little bit of hot glue and then joining it with a little piece of extra yarn. We're gonna make a cute little snowman ornament and I think you're gonna love this one. This will also be a great one to do with your kiddos. 
Once it looks like this, you can add whatever you want to it. I'm going to add this striped candy cane style ribbon to it. Hot glue it to the back. And then we just kind of wrap it around crisscrossing it. Kind of like a little scarf for our little snowman. And then again, you can leave it like this or you can add anything else you want to it. I decided to add a little bit more embellishments just because I felt like it needed it. But you don't have to, of course. This was left over from another ornament from Dollar Tree. I just left it the way it was and added cute little extra um, pine cone. And then I'm just going to add more yarn to the top so that we can hang the ornament. And that's it. Such an easy craft. Anyone can do. Of course, you want to um, knot it to make sure that you're going to be able to hang it. Now you can add a ribbon to the top as well. Jute string, rope, whatever else you want. How adorable is this? You can make as many as you want. And why not use those lids? Love it. Let me know what you think. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are going to take another large mason jar, remove the lid from it, and wipe it well, of course. Again, we want to remove any smudges or dust because we are going to be painting this one. I started painting it using a uh, Waverly chalk paint in the crimson tone, which is beautiful red, but in real life it was a little too burgundy-ish. So I wanted to give it an extra couple of coats using this other chalk paint. It's not the best chalk paint, but for a second coat, it worked really well. So I'm just going to do a couple of extra ones to make sure it's nice and covered. Painting glass is not easy, friends. <laughs> it's better to spray paint it, but I think it turned out okay. We're going to bring back that towel from earlier, and we're just going to cut off a piece once it was dry, and we are going to attach it to the front. We're going to make a little Santa suit style mason jar that you can use for treats or as a flower arrangement base. We're going to add another one of those pieces around the thread at the top to cover it up and to add a little bit more texture and design to it. And then, of course, we have to add a belt to Santa's suit. And we're going to use a felt. You can use a ribbon if you have that as well. This felt came from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to cut off a piece that's about an inch and a half uh, thick. We're going to hot glue it to the front, wrap it around, and secure it in the back with more hot glue. And, of course, we need a buckle. So uh, everyone knows that Dollar Tree has these vinyls. And they have them in different colors and even textures. And they have this golden glittery one, which I thought was perfect to create a buckle for Santa's suit. We're going to cut off a square and then cut off a square inside the square, carefully using my X-Acto knife. And then we're just going to remove the back just like a sticker and place it in the front. I think it's so adorable. Oh my word. It's one of my favorites from today. Again, you can use it as a gift. Fill it with all kinds of goodies. Keep the lid on or use it as a vase, whatever you want. But what do you think of this one? Let me know down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're gonna start with a piece of blank paper. This is just regular copy paper, and we're gonna start hand drawing what will look like a little village, a little Christmas village. We're just gonna do my best. I'm not an artist, okay? <laughs> So we're going to make little houses and little tall pine trees. And we're just going to do that all across that bottom line. Now, I did draw that line at the bottom. It's about an inch and a half, give or take. This is just going to give us a base. And you'll see where we're going with this. Once you have it drawn, we are going to roll it up. This is what it, kind of what it should look like. You can do whatever you want, of course. Cut off the excess at top. And then we are going to take a large mason jar. And again, as I mentioned, roll it up. And we're going to insert it inside the mason jar. Now, if you have a cutting machine and vinyl, like a Cricut machine, please use that. It's so much easier. <laughs> and it's going to be so much cleaner and crisper. But if you do not, this is a great alternative. I taped it in place to make sure that it's not going to move around on me. And we're going to bring in three different size brushes and a very dark black paint. This is Ink by Waverly. It is very dark and pigmented, but again, planing glass is not easy. So I did have to do a couple of coats, and it still was not perfect. So just keep that in mind. We're going to start brushing at the bottom and then adding the trees. And then we're just going to, it's going to be like, kind of like painting and tracing what you already drew. And then we're just going to keep doing this until all the little village is painted.
I think it's looking adorable. Anyways, okay, so now we're going to put that to the side. And we're going to bring in fairy lights. You know about these. I love these. I get them on Amazon. And again, I do have them in my Amazon store. But you can use the fairy lights Dollar Tree carries as well. They're battery operated. And we're just going to place the whole thing right there, right inside. Even the battery pack. We're going to take some of this Buffalo Check Black and White Ribbon from Dollar Tree. Cut off a piece, fold it in half. And this is what we're going to use to cover the thread. Although you don't have to do this. But I thought it just needed something up there. So we're going to hot glue it in place. And then of course I do want to add a little bit more embellishments. But again you can do anything you want with this. These picks are from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to add a couple of them here and there with hot glue. And we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to add a cute little golden bell right there to the center. And that's it. I think it is absolutely cute. Oh my word. At night it has a beautiful Christmas village vibe to it. A beautiful glow. And what's best is that it was easy to make and so fun. Again, if you have a cutting machine, I think it'd be cleaner and better. But I love the way it turned out. But let me know what you think. And I have another video here for you, my friends, with tons more of Dollar Tree DIY crafts inspiration. Check this one out next. Thank you, Grooms, for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out their link in the description box. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye. Stop.